Good day, tamers. Welcome back to some more action with me. Gear Swiftly. Now, this is what we don't normally do here on the Agito Swiftly channel because we don't. Today will be the day that we do some advertising for some uh, very cool and some very interesting artists in the community. So today actually kicks off the first year anniversary for Cinebali. If you don't know who Cinebali is, they are a fantastic, I want to say more chibi uh, manga style artist that does some of these very cool key rings and stickers. You may have seen them around when you go to tournaments or events as they uh, do sell this stuff quite often and it is very interesting to see what they like to make. Uh, this will be their first year anniversary and with their first year anniversary, they're doing the Vemon line. And we'll have a quick look now to make sure that you guys actually enjoy what you see. Uh, the Vemon line for this month is going to be the cool Magna X uh, final keyring and a Flame to Run final keyring. This was actually voted for as the winner of the, the uh, four things, which I believe was Flame, Normal Magna, Vemon, and Dark Imperial, I think were the, the choices. So we get to have these three playmats here the cool Vedramon, the cool Magna X. The cool Impildrum on fighter mode, as well as the all-inclusive mat, which is this bad boy right here. Uh, for those of you who don't know which to pick, because they're all actually really cool, then we do get access to the four lines that you can go into, including the dark line. So for those of you who actually want something that's a bit a little bit more interesting or cool, same for you. And I did say the do do key rings and keychains as well. We have ourselves the Magna Blast, which for us is plasma shot, which is a pretty cool looking thing as well as the Memory V, for those of you who want to make a bit more uh, simplistic, although this is the artwork for the Red Vmon of EX3. So for those of you who like the Dark Line, this is your Vmon. It's pretty cool looking. Look, at, look how confused he is. We also get a ton of stickers here, the 15 V Warriors fan-made sticker set. I do think the artwork looks really nice in these. For some people, it's not for you. It's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. But if you are a fan of Sin Bally, uh, go for it these are actually really cool the stickers and things that we do sell out so grab these where you can fast i'm not sure what the shipping is on this but i think it's for a certain price it is free as well as one of the next people in the fall which will have a look at the key rings but then then we'll go look at somebody else as you can see the very cool flame drink key ring as well as the magna x key ring uh, both of these actually look really cool and i could be tempted myself to grab some of these if no my luck i wouldn't instantly break them the second i get hold of them on my keys so good draw is probably one of my favorite fan artists that we currently have in the community. They have started doing themselves some oversleeves and you may have seen the videos. They are very nice. They are very pretty, but unfortunately they are not tournament legal because they do cover up the text as well as the levels, DP and other things that would be classed as public uh, infringement in matches. Obviously, if you're at your locals, no one really cares, you're having a bit of fun, they're nice oversleeves, but otherwise they're a bit stuck. And unfortunately they are um, matte backs as well so they do leave a bit of a fogging on the front of the card which again depending on your judges and who you play with could be considered public hindrance so we like to be legal tolerant over here and not naughty people who can't uh, play the card game honestly but again they have some really nice oversleeves here such as the new one sleeves the alpha omega which matches very nicely with their new deck box the armor evolution sleeves so for those of you who are obviously interested in the v stuff from uh Zimbali, these would go really nicely. It does look like they've actually made these a bit tighter to the corners and the sides. Again, without getting a pair of these in my hands, I couldn't tell you. These are shipping now, so for those of you who actually are interested, you can get these right now at Soviet Draws. Three Demon Lords, which makes some sense, as we did just get access to this big crocodile beast, as we'll be talking about later in the video, and some of the few stuff. Oh, and for those of you who are Pokemon fans, nice evolution sleeves, which again, I wouldn't know if they're tournament legal, but they are there for you. Oh, and I suppose for those of you who are into the Metal Empire, there's some Machine Jumon overseas for you. Even there, stay out here. Now, luckily, with your Soggy Draws, they do have the new arrival section, which we're going to look at today. With the Mirage Galgamon Burst Mode Playmat, yours at the cheap cost of less than £40. That comes with a memory marker as well as an accurate keychain, as well as the unique style of Playmat. Not personally something for me, but for those of you who like your more. Uh, deep edged and shaded lines. This is something more that you'd be interested in. But for me personally, I am quite interested in the Magna Vmon, as this does look very clean and very well polished. Those of you who are also interested in, there's 250 of these for sale. They are not making any more. If you like 
the deck boxes from here and you also do have the beautiful Gallopmon deck over here the nice embossing on the leather as you can see from here as well as the nice internal inner gold layering on the artwork here I have preferred this style of art compared to the one we'll see in a second but I do think it fits the character quite nicely as the Dark Knight of the Real Knights not an actual Dark Knight and then we do have access to the beautiful Beelzebub, which has, I think, nearly sold out. If you are interested, get your own. And then we do, again, have the nice foiling pattern inside with Beelze, Ipmon, and Bellstar. Although I think it's kind of hard for you to see from this angle. But uh, Bellstar is up here. Uh, we fly bullets. And then Ipmon is down there. What am I about? There's a Beelze on the front. What am I about? But yes. Both of these have been beautiful and well worth the money. And this one is no exception. We have the Alphamon on the front. Oh, even better. As you can see, a bit of the artwork on the inside there. Go into it, you get this beautiful, almost full textured setup. I don't know if it's just because they're levering, it just looks full textured. Although I do find it quite funny there's no level 4 in here. But, you know, it is what it is. It's still very pretty. And then the standard, you know, place for your coins and your... Nice, which you can, could have, I don't know if you still buy these, but you could have brought these at some point. Uh, and then you see the new sleeves here, as well as, I think they show you some of the, they got the Alpha and Omega Elsa sleeves. Uh, again, all the deluxe is really good. I've had the Beelzebub one, I think, for six months now, and it's not really showing any sign of wear or tear. Any sign of wear or tear, and I've been using it constantly for tournaments and events and stuff, and going to locals every week. And then the beautiful... Gallop on one is, I think, the middle of a couple of months now, three months. But again, not sure much ones are where. Very good. Decent style of debt box. And again, having the access to just have cards available in the front and then your dice on the side. I've just probably just, just shot my uh, acrylic marker that also comes from Usagi. Is uh, something to consider. Again, very nice, simple design, but very well done in the execution. And then we just have the sleeves. We have the new stained glass sleeves. These look very nice. Uh, any of you people that do like Omnimon decks, as we've just seen from EX4, perhaps some of these may be interested in. But then for those of you who are much bigger fans of the Wargreymon uh, sort of things, but do not have access to the expensive, very expensive Wargreymon sleeves from Japan, and we had a very short time here, you know, not so bad. And then for you security control players, or maybe just you Mastermon players, uh, Chaos Degradation as a card sleeve. Fantastic choices. And I do think these are uh, really nice. I've actually grabbed myself a pair of these as well. And then last but not least, Zach Roy. Uh, you may have seen some of the videos. The Gallop by Matt. It's the one here. It's fantastic. I love it. It's covered in chocolate milk. Thank you, children. But these are some fantastic mats. There's generally something here for everyone. We've got Bellstar. We've got Devimon. Defeat. Masty. Your boy Gallant. You know, the best one. Jez. Alpha. Angie. Lady. Magna. Lily, Venus, uh, the Rookie Series here. They do, have to, they do have tournament exclusives. They do run, I think, with P, is it PPG, PCG, PGG. American companies, mostly for American companies, uh, but no, some of these are really nice. And to be fair, you know, they're tournament winning mats and they're like worth 250 quid because that's how much the commission cost. The commission work over here, you know, again, really nice. They've obviously decided to do some of these designs again for their own work, which is limited runs. By limited, they just mean, hey, look, it's you know, we're only gonna do like 50 of them, 100 of them, that's it. Uh, they are super nice though, and the quality is really good. I did measure them when I was buying this and asked if they would do a, an aligned mat, and they said they didn't do it at the time. And then the second I brought it for the next following mat, they put lines on it, which I think was the Jesmon. And uh, I think they went back and said they'd, they'd line all the rest of their mats, which made me, made me happy, made me sad at the same time because I do like having uh clean mats if you've uh, if you've ever had more than one mat I've got drawers and mats I hate it but uh, she knows you know so let's get on with the actual content for today and we'll see you guys in the in the real part of the video after this uh, 15 minute advertisement purple cards I like purple cards do you like purple cards I really like purple cards interesting enough we have some new purple cards EX5 to me has been like this amazing set of just like things I've never thought of up before or they've just never been able to really implement it in other sets and one of the things I like about EX sets is they go like let's just not consider things 
just overly too powerful. Let's just consider things as its own thing in its own little bubble and let's just see what we can throw against the wall and see what sticks. In this case, you got to do trashing stuff. On play, for each of your opponent's Digimon, draw one. Then trash one card in your hand. I don't dislike this. And obviously, for cards that get trashed, it will trigger their effects, which are still trashing them. All turns, when an opponent's Digimon is played by an effect, gain on memory. Again, super cool. And we're going to go into that in a bit. You may have seen some of this stuff yesterday, as much as this is from yesterday. Um, but I think we got access to the ultimate today, which we're going to go through in a second. Octomon, on play when Digivolving. If there are four more Digimon, play one Fujitsumon. Digimon purple, 3000 DP, all turns this Digimon can't be unsuspended. On deletion, trash one card in your hand. A token in your battle area suspended without paying the cost. If there are three or less Digimon, you may play it in your opponent's battle area instead. I'm 99% sure, because you'll already be on the field when this thing happens, you will gain the memory here. Uh, Levimon, and the idea of just putting things on your opponent's other field is really cool anyway. Uh, Secure attack 1. On play, when digivolving, if your opponent has equal or more Digimon and Tamers than you, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest level. Then, delete one of your opponent's with the lowest level. All turns, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, gain one memory for each Digimon deleted. Not a once per turn. If you can somehow continually delete everything, you're just continually gaining memory in a deck that says, hey, let's just keep blowing up things and gaining memory. It's very cool, very interesting. Purple's needed something fun for a while. I think the issue we've had really with Purple is you've got the current deck, which is the uh, Baphomon, Baphor Rage, Sleep C deck, which is pretty cool, but it's, it's its own thing. We've got access to weird Garumon and then more Purple Garumon stuff in the future. Uh, yeah, one's still doing its thing, surprisingly quite well in Japan. And that's kind of what Purple has right now. It's got nothing that's just like gimmicky. Never wrong with being gimmicky or nothing good with being gimmicky, but having something like this that just says, this is a totally different playstyle. Watch what I can do is really cool. Biting Crush as the option card for the deck. Main, by trashing one card in your hand, delete one of your opponent's level 6 or lower Digimon. If the card has 7 great Demon Lords, traits was trashed by this effect, place this card into your battle area. This can also be a Lucimon. A purple Lucimon. Um, which might be really good in this deck, but you obviously want to throw this specific card, you want to throw Levy in the trash instead, because all turns when an opponent's Digimon is played by an effect, delay. You may, tra uh, you may play it one Levy Mon from your trash for paying the cost. Again, if it goes to your opponent's turn, you played this the turn before, you put this in the trash, but now it has a you know wait, wait and see a delay, and then you play an Octomon. Octomon gets to put down a token in your opponent's other field. Oh, look, Levy Mon just turned up and started pooping things out. Which in my opinion, really cool. Again, I like the idea of this. It's something different, it's something interesting. It's just something we haven't really access to before. Um, because this is a, a seven great Demon Lord deck, you can play the BT6 Impmon. Take those you will. Uh, because you are having to trash things with that, that deck, so you have to put more things in the trash to get your Demon Lords back. So if you've run out of uh, cool things, you know, a bit awkward, you can also then run mats as well, so mats can bring back your option cards from the trash. There's, there's some synergy in purple. Purple's always been really good for synergy. And then we have Dragomon. I think for us it's Dracomon, the vampire weird sea squid serpenty thing. Um, but here, Dragomon. Ultimate Virus Aqua Beast. Not a sea animal. <laughs> on play on Evolve, your opponent plays one level 4 low Digimon from the trash suspended at no cost. Its on play effects do not activate. This is really cool if you know you can abuse the the rest of this deck. All turns was turned when an opponent's Digimon is played by an effect, you may play at one purple Digimon with equal or lower level from your trash at no cost. Inherited effect piercing. A lot of people said that this is going to be like the Black Gatamon from BT8, I think it is the one that has Rush, because I think a lot of people just want to have the whole, like, yep, yeah, just throwing things on the field, trash that Gatamon, uh, get to bring it back, it's on the field, have Rush now, swing with Rush. Oh no, it fell over again. I do think that's a, a really cool thing to do. Again, because it's all turns when the person is played by an effect, so you can obviously do, uh, you know, throw down the Squid Boy, because the thing there, gain memory back from this, gets this thing suspended. Start swinging out. There's a lot of interesting things with this purple stuff. And I don't really think there's much of a way to like ignore it. So yeah, I think this deck is really interesting and it's just something different. It's nice to see different thoughts and different opinions. I think we've seen for the last couple of sets that the new producer that's coming to like take over the card game. I don't know if he's come from somewhere else or he's new to the company, but he's taking things in a totally different direction. I think he's doing a fantastic job. So it'd be nice to see what else they've got in store for some BT15. 
Please don't make your room on the best deck ever again because that was annoying for a lot of us. Over here, because we had the options in the promo cards, Japan didn't. They'd have to suffer our pain like we did. Suffer. That woman makes me suffer every time she wants to play with me. Good thing her thing's now limited to one. I look forward to having the same power level again from a card in BT15. It makes me cry every time. I've moved. Um, just to make it a bit easy to see, just like the ones with the Gen 4 stuff, uh, Frontier, we are getting access to the black and the blue Digivices from Zero Two. We're also getting an actual alternate art card of the Davis and Ken card from BT8. Firstly speaking, it's really cool. The issue I have with this is if it's anything like the Frontier Digivice, we're only getting one card per Digivice. I don't want to buy four Digivices. Do you want to buy four? I don't. Can we buy one, please? I'll happily buy one, and I'll get four cards. That would be fantastic. Because you'll still, send the, you'll still sell the same amount of Digivices, but more people will be willing to buy it because you can get them a play set of what they want. Just the card. And then maybe the black one, because I'm not too sure if I like the blue one more. There is one more thing from Bando that did come out during the night, which at this point is nearly 24 hours ago. Um, and it's really cool in my opinion. And that is, if you can remember, we voted for this earlier in the year. And this is the Diabora monster foot we're going to get. We're getting a mat which has Armageddon Mon on, Diabora Mon on, uh, and all the rest of them, Karaman, and all the rest of them. My brain's gone dead. I can't remember what the other two are called. Is the baby in here? Maybe it's here. Sudamon's here. Uh, the other one that's not Sudamon's here. Uh, Karasuki Mon's here. I can never remember what the middle one's called. That, this, this one over here. We could be later when I'm editing, probably. Uh, but we're getting five. That's right. Five tokens in this. This the tokens themselves make this mat worth it to me, in my opinion. And it's a fifty dollar play mat, which currently in the UK is about thirty eight pounds. That sounds really good, right? It's gonna be like sixty five to seventy pounds in the UK because shipping and because companies don't consider like differences in prices because they want the best bang for the book. Essentially, if I was Bandai, I'd make a premium Bandai site in the UK, sell it at fifty quid, and you'd make your money even better than you would in America. But that's just me, you know, tactics all that. Uh, we get the Boromon Ace card. The issue with this is we're not getting this till February, yeah? So unless we're not getting these promo cards until February, we're going to get this after the set comes out anyway. It's much nicer than the, the Yes cards. I like the fact that the art actually joins up as well, these two cards. And then we get the Armageddon one, which you, you still play in the deck if you haven't watched the latest uh, card protagonist video. They did a fairly decent run of what the Diabora deck can do. But no, I do like the fact that we are getting something we asked for and they've actually done a really good job of it. I mean, look at the token. It's just literally a wall or a sea, or you say, it's cyberspace, stars in the ocean, a dive warmer in the background. And I do just think this is something relatively classy that they didn't have to do so goddamn hard. It's nice to have the tokens actually be visible because since I don't know if you guys actually know this, we've actually had official tokens before, but they've just been like very cheap looking, didn't really seem like that inspired. Someone had to draw them, obviously, so I'm not trying to take away from that. But these ones just the references. Our war games is just, you know, deep in our hearts. And that's about it for news this week so far, guys. Hopefully stuff comes out over the weekend. Japan had their first really big Ultimate Cup as well. We'll probably go over that tomorrow if I get some more information on it. And some of those decks just absolutely just pushed through. But uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and goodbye, and have a fantastic weekend. See ya.